Hello and welcome back to Ravenna Railfan 4070. A new update on the in progress Ravenna Central for you guys. Here is our lovely Bachman 10 stall roundhouse. This is made out of two Bachman 45020 kits. Beautiful big roundhouse with a little turntable. See, I've got. Pennsylvania 2780 and Midwest Quarry number 12. My two DCC equipped tank engines on there. Uh, in the background, you can hear the 1102 idling. Over here, we have my 45 tonner, a newer addition to the fleet. And something else you might not have seen last video. Here's a caboose track. Back in the day, rail yards would have designated caboose tracks, and although this is not in the yard, um, I have that installed. So, taking a look at the museum, I have three tracks now. You see the photo freight is on one there with the railroad hotel and the church. A couple of passenger cars, got a flat car with an old automobile on it. We have our River Rossi Chicago Northwestern 60 foots, which make up the Danbury Flyer. I have four, but typically run three. And you'll see this crazy steep hill here. This has a train of my new log car sitting on it. And we'll go around here and over there. That's gonna be a forest scene. So what's gonna happen is this area here to the left of the hill, these three tracks make up the West Branch Lumber Company. Now this track here, right about there, is going to have a little shed and my Shea and my 45 tonner will park in that shed. Those engines will then service these two tracks here We'll bring the load, loaded logs into uh, Buzz's Sawmill. It's a Woodland Scenic Kit I highly recommend. You can see a couple have been unloaded here. The National Freight Lines building is here at the moment. Probably won't stay. I just haven't decided where to put it. And then over here, I've got a covered hopper because this is going to be uh, where things go out from the lumber mill. So eventually this track will house covered hoppers for wood chips and lumber cars, maybe a couple ladder cars even. So that'll go out there. One thing I forgot to mention in the museum portion is the deadline track. Got a couple of random box cars. I have a gondola that carries spare parts for some of my cars. And that display tank engine down there that doesn't have a motor, it's plastic. It came as part of an old kit that I got from a friend at church. And I used the bell on it for my custom 800, which is pretty cool. So over here, then is West Riddle Yard. So the train comes in over there off main one. There's Wells Fargo Company, that green building. Over here is Baxter's, another industrial plant. But if you come in, go past Wells Fargo on this lead, here is the four track West Riddle Yard. So you have track one, two, three, and four going across to sort and organize the cars. Over in this corner, we have Jefferson Coal Company. It's the smallest industry probably on uh, the Ravenna Central. Wells Fargo doesn't have two tracks, but it's longer. And this houses, of course, little 33-ton uh, coal hoppers that come in and out and get serviced for coal. With the tower sitting over top of one of the tracks, this also allows steam engines to have their coal filled there. And then over in the corner, 
is Danbury Depot, hence the name Danbury Flyer. That's another Woodland Scenics kit. You can get it with or without lights. Mine is without. I plan to upgrade it though. So what happens basically is a train will uh, get its engine from the roundhouse. It will then pull out. Here is Philadelphia and Reading 1180. She was my first steam engine. Standard DC and it hasn't run in quite a while. We're planning to fix it up soon. So an engine will come down here, back into the museum, get the flyer or some photo freight cars, and it'll make two loops. It'll run around here past Baxter's, back along the back wall, come over this way, cross at that switch, come down on main two, past Jefferson Cole and cross into the Danbury siding. The platform for the siding is very small and it's actually on a curve, but that is indeed a passing siding where the NS train can park. And uh, at that point, two Ravenna Central trains could run, but that's also where the passenger train goes. There's a little brakeman figure. You can barely see him down there. Uh, the train will stop, the engine uncouples, runs around on main two, and then brings it back this way. More on the NS yard later. That is almost completed. I'm in the process of building a Walder's mainline arch bridge in order to spread across. And one final thing to update you all on. Um, I am working on that bridge to the forest scene. But that's not here yet either. A big thank you to Miles Spear of the Eastern Pacific for his help with that. And then finally, the other new addition is over here. This is a little steam shop. I'm going to figure out leveling here. But what's going to happen is... I have two tracks coming out of a single run-through stall, which in this case is stall nine of the roundhouse, allowing a steam engine to park in both this stall and this stall. Now, what is this switch, you ask? Currently, it goes to nothing, but I'm planning to put a little diesel shop in this area here, and that way I can park two of my Ravenna Central custom-painted diesels in that location. Um, so yeah, the diesel shop over here and the steam shop here, what I'm debating now is what to do with this back wall, whether to cut a portion out or make some sort of flexible door, but that will be gone in some regard. Inside you can see some engines. Union Pacific 1429 is the newest to our fleet. Um, she will become... Old 17 from my Phantom of the Northeastern story. Behind the chassis system engine, you can't see them at the moment, but there are two new Atlas C424s. Those will be part of the Ravenna Central collection. Stall 10 is designated for the two tank engines currently on the turntable, and they'll both fit in one stall, um, or alternatively one of them and the 45 tonner, which is pretty cool. One little pass of the museum here. And of course, over here we have our auxiliary power track. I'll use that when there's two covered wagons running on the Danbury Flyer. I'll cut one off and put the other on using this track. And you'll see there, there's a tip of a bridge going across to the NS connection. But you'll see more on that next video uh, as far as a update on the Ravenna Central. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Looking forward to having this project complete before long and running a lot of trains. I can't wait to get back to doing some reviews and running sessions for y'all here shortly. Until next time, thank you for watching. Ravenna Railfan 4070 out. Take care.